What's going on? This is Grant here. And I was cleaning out my garage, so I figured it'd be a good time to do a little bike rundown of my current bike collection. I don't really like to look at it as a collection, but let's check them out. First one is a first model year All City Gorilla Monsoon with a Dynamo light setup. Got a Supernova and uh, some Velocity rims. Currently running Terravel Sparwoods. Got the Surly rack and bag. That's the 16 pack or 12 pack rack. Got the specialized adventure gear frame pack. It's also a Nicholas Cage stainless steel cages. Pretty simple SRAM one by setup. I think this is actually stock. And uh, my favorite handlebars, the Nitto Bull Moose handlebars. It's also got a rear light covered in dirt and Shimano hydraulic brakes. This next one is one of my favorite bikes. It's a Endpoint Coffee Grinder. It's my gravel bike. Set up with a pretty traditional SRAM 1x11 hydraulic group set. Did the paint job myself with spray bike and a marbling technique. Got some light bike carbon rims laced to a DT350 hub up front and a Hope hub in the back. Um, it's currently running a 40 up front and an 11 to 42 in the back. Um, SRAM red access cranks and a Garbarook oval ring. Some, I think those are titanium cages from King Cage. Specialized seat post and saddle. And currently running the Renee Hurst Juniper Ridge tire. That's my favorite gravel tire. And the Ritchie Venture Max WCS handlebar. It's got a tiny bit of flare. And some sort of a salsa bag tucked in down here for tubes and emergency flat repair stuff. That is my main gravel bike. This is my latest bike, also from Endpoint. It's called the Night Moves. It is a pure road bike. It's running a Ultegra hydraulic 11 speed group, whiskey fork, night rims to Chris King hubs, um, pretty standard 42 mil drop bar. Paint also from myself via spray bike. Um, SRAM force access crank with a 48 to 35 chain ring and an 11 to 32 maybe in the back. Um, look Kio pedals. Currently running American Classic Timekeeper tires. Also specialized seat post and saddle. And um, it's a pretty fantastic little road bike, I must say. This is one of my oldest bikes. All City Log Lady. It's a 27 and a half inch single speed hardtail. Running. Velocity blunt rims, specialized tires. The rims are laced to Paul hubs. It's got a Fox 32. Whiskey carbon bar. SRAM level TLM brakes. Really classic paint job from All City. A SRAM crank with time attack pedals 
and your classic single speed dropouts. This thing is no frills really. Thompson seat posts with a little setback and another specialized saddle. This one is a keeper. This is my go-to hardtail. It's my Vatfoot geared hardtail, custom made by Gary here in town. Paint job by myself again. My color block and dab finish. It's got Roval carbon wheels up front, laced to 350 hubs from DT Swiss. Fox 34 suspension, 130 mil travel, Chris King headset, carbon bars from Specialized S-Works, guide brakes, XX1 Eagle shifter up front to a GX rear derailleur, 12 speed, 11 to 50, Garbarook XC crankset, the Garbrook oval ring. It's a 32 tooth ring. Currently running the Maxxis Recon up front and the Ardent race in the back. Kind of out of just what I had laying around really. Thompson stem, PNW seat post, and another specialized saddle. It's pretty much all I ride. That is a sweet hardtail. Love it. This is one of my single speed cross bikes made from, again, Gary, the local builder here in Richmond. This is basically modeled after a Crux, a 56 centimeter Crux. Um, got TRP Hylex hydraulic brakes on it, 42 mil handlebar, currently running the Rene Hurst Stylacoom tires. Um, these rims are, well the front one is an old iron cross laced to a Chris King hub. The back one is a relatively new velocity rim laced to a Chris King hub. This one's currently running a 38-17 gear ratio. Time attack pedals, of course. This one's got a fabric saddle that I got from Katie Keo. She autographed it for me. Anybody who watches Cyclocross knows who that is. And yeah, that's a great bike. A lot of good races on that thing. This is one of my latest projects. It's another endpoint coffee grinder. This is my original coffee grinder frame that I repainted. These ones have um, quick release dropouts and a non-replaceable derailleur hanger and post mount brake tab. Pretty old school. Um, you know, I tried selling this for a little while and no one would buy it, so I just decided to keep it. And so I'm building it up with some spare parts. I've got some Ultegra 11 speed levers, some old Stan's Grail wheels. I've got the new uh, searchlight fork from Endpoint on it. Uh, steel fork and some Shimano gearing, but I'll put this one together and have it as a spare bike for people that want to ride when they visit. This is one of my newest bikes. It's a 2022 Kona Hey Hey CRDL. It's got a RockShox SID Ultimate fork. Specialized Roval carbon wheels to 350 hubs. And everything else is pretty much stock. SRAM G2 brakes. The RockShox Reverb hydraulic dropper and another specialized saddle. And a GX crank with a GX access shifting system and a Garbarook cassette. I'm running a DHF up front and a Recon in the back. Sid Lux Ultimate Shock. And um, 
Everything else is pretty much stock. It's a really cool bike. It's a lot of fun. This is another bike I picked up last year, or built up last year, rather. It's a Chinelli MASH single-speed cyclocross bike. This has become my primary cross race bike. It's currently set up in street mode, which is why it has these road tires on. But I built this up with some velocity rims and some cheap hubs. It's got an Envy cantilever fork, tapered steer, tapered head tube, pretty no frills, old school rival crank, and a box free hub, which are super loud. It's also got Paul mini motos, Thompson seat post, and actually a nuke proof saddle. And these things are super cool. They're super quirky. They've got no place to mount a bottle. It's just cross racing only. Um, sliding dropouts and it's got track spacing so it's pretty narrow makes it hard to find wheels for but this thing has become my go-to cross race rig and it rips anyways i hope you enjoyed checking out some of those i know i enjoy checking out other people's bikes as well i'll see you on the next one Thank you.